morning my planner friends it's Ashley today we are planning inside of my lined vertical happy planner this is my catch-all planner I literally put anything and everything inside of this planner but here's my dilemma this thing is super colorful I'm not really a fan of all the color I would prefer my planners to be completely neutral and then I get to add the color in with whatever stickers that I want and last week inside of this planner I used some washi tape and it's not that I didn't like it, but I didn't like it. <laughs> I think I just needed different washi tape with the stickers that I ended up using. But for this week, we're not going to cover up those lines. I actually have the Flower Power sticker book. And these stickers here that I'm going to flip through are the ones that I will be using. And they ended up matching the lines on this spread very, very well. So it turned out fantastic. I don't know if I want to do something like this every week though where I have to find stickers to match it. But like I've said in the past, maybe that'll pull me out of my comfort zone. You know what I mean? Maybe that's what I need is to shake up how I plan a little bit. But I love how I plan, so why do I want to change it? I don't know. That's just my thought process, you guys. But for this week, we're keeping it simple. I'm going to match the lines. I'm not going to mess with covering them up. And to do that, we are going to be using some floral sticker books. Now, my initial plan was to only use one sticker book, but that didn't work out. Now these two sheets that I have here, I'm gonna set those off to the side. These are my pre-planning sheets. Uh, and I'm currently in, I don't know, in a transition with pre-planning. I guess you could say once I figure out exactly what I'm doing with pre-planning, I will update you guys. But for right now, I'm using the monthly section of my hourly planner to pre-plan. So I have those sheets sitting over there so I can see where I need to place stickers. Pre-planning has literally been a lifesaver for me whenever I've been planning inside of any planner. I use it with my catch-all. I use it with social media. Like whatever planner I'm using, your girl loves to pre-plan. It helps me figure out what stickers I need to use, where they need to go, if I need to have like box stickers, and if so, how many. I don't know. It just makes planning easier. It makes it much easier. And here's what happens when I don't pre-plan. Let's say I just sit down and I start putting stickers down, right? I have no rhyme or reason for why they're going where they are. And I do do this sometimes. But when I sit down and I do that, I will spend a ridiculous amount of time trying to figure out what to use each sticker for. And it's just a waste of time, honestly. So if I just take 10 or 15 minutes to pre-plan, it makes actually using my planner so much easier because I know what needs to go where. Am I trying to sell you on pre-planning? Yes, my friend, because it is a planner changer. It has helped me with my planning process so, so much. So if you're not doing it, please start pre-planning. Now, the other sticker book I decided to pull out is the Biz Babe sticker book. I love this one, and I love the colors in it. It's very, very pretty. And I'm going to try to incorporate this one because this actually matches those colors uh, in the planner and the florals very, very well. And I needed some more box stickers and stuff, which you'll see me use. And find the way back to our home, our home, our home. We don't have to drift inside this dome. I will not let us fade away. It's not a price I want to pay. And it's not too late. No, we lost our purpose. Chasing all that. Down here at the bottom, I'm using these stickers to note my son's homework. He does do virtual learning, so I'm using those stickers for that, but also for my study schedule so I can write those things out. And I wanted to use um, just the book sticker, like the little book stack, but I didn't have enough of them. So I ended up alternating. Man, where are my words going? I ended up alternating with a few different stickers and it turned out really cute. Now here, um, I have that planner sticker. I think it's, just, is it still stuck to my finger? It might still be stuck to my finger. I can't see. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, if you guys didn't know, I'm like half blind. Um, <laughs> I swear, I start doing these voiceovers and I just go on these tangents and I don't even know what I was talking about. What was I saying? Oh, the planner sticker down in the bottom right corner on Sunday. I was using that to know what I needed to plan for the following week. Man, that was a long-winded way of saying those things. Fade away. It's not a price I want to pay, and it's not too late. No, we lost our purpose, chasing all that surplus. You were all that I need. I feel that we can break free. We can still go back there to a place with no 
What I'm looking for in the Biz Babe sticker book is stickers that match everything, but also stickers that I can use as uh, a way to note my priority of the day or like appointments, schedules, things that are very important to know for that day and to kind of highlight. Actually, that's one of the main reasons why I started using box stickers way back when and I started calling myself the box lady. It is very unlikely that you are going to see me create any kind of spread without at least one box sticker. <laughs> I love them so much. They are super functional, but they're also cute and they make whatever it is you put inside of that sticker stand out. So I really love box stickers. So that's what I was trying to do is um, incorporate not just boxes, but I was trying to use flags and different things to note my priorities of the day and any kind of like appointments or scheduling that we had for each day of the week. From here, I just started adding some more of the floral stickers just to decorate a little bit more because I already have the function of everything that I'm needing for the week, which I'll explain here in just a minute what everything's for, but I already have all of that set up. So now I can add a little bit more decor pieces just to decorate it a little bit more. All right, so I ended up putting one of the stickers over top of the punched side. Right here, this sticker, I'm putting it over top of where it's punched. And used to, I would set and take scissors and I would try to cut out around that punch to cut the sticker. But here's what I do now, and this is so helpful, but I take a scrap piece of paper and I'll put it underneath of my planner page and then I will punch it again. And I do this because then the sticky stuff from the sticker will stick to that scrap piece of paper and then it's not being left inside of your planer punch. It's not sticking to anything. It's not tearing your pages. It's not like gumming up your planer punch. It keeps everything good to go. And this is now what I do whenever I put stickers over top of the uh, punch side of my planer. Okay, now that the spread is finished, I am going to take some before the pin photos for Instagram and boom, photos are done. So now I'm gonna show you guys uh, how I'm filling this out. I'm gonna talk you through what each section is for and just kind of go through that entire process with you. And in order to do that, I have to use these pre-planning sheets. And here I'm taking a um, Sharpie S note to highlight the most important tasks for the day to kind of help me set my priorities and see what's going on. Now, I didn't set all of my priorities for every day. I did highlight for every day, but I didn't set my priorities for every single day. Now here, I'm starting with Monday, and I thought that my son was supposed to go back to Cub Scout meetings on the 4th, but I was incorrect about this, and it's not until the 11th, which is okay. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here anyways, but I did write that down, and I just wanna note that I mess up my planner sometimes. It's all good. From there, I went down to the bottom, which you've seen, and I started to write out our, or that my son has homework Monday through Friday and what my study schedule was. That way it made it easier. Just get that out of the way. That's kind of like a routine thing that we do on a daily basis. And then from there, I started to write out over here on Sunday what I needed to plan for for the week. So 
it was to plan inside of my catch-all planner, my social media planner, my hourly planner, and to meal plan for the week, which I actually put the meal plan on the wrong day. That was supposed to go on Saturday. Meal prep was supposed to go on Sunday, but that's totally okay. I know what it meant. I'm not really worried about it. And this entire middle section is going to be for daily to-do lists. The first thing that I'm writing down is going to be my cleaning schedule for each day. Underneath of that, I just wrote workout just so I can check it off in here. Again, this is my catch-all planner. I do have a fitness planner that is separate, and that'll note what my actual workout is and what I'm doing. But for here, I like to have it, and I get to check it off. And it's all in there, and I can kind of see an overview of the entire day. Not the specifics of every little thing, but an overview. So the middle section will be for... A daily to-do list the things that I write on Monday I'd like to get done on Monday on Tuesday I want to get done on Tuesday so on and so forth so over on the left side of the page where it says brain dump this will be a list of things I'd like to get done during the week that don't really have a certain day that I want to get them done by um, or anything that we need to do maybe for the following week and I note that and I'll make like a separate little note with it that says like for next week or something but I just want to let you know the middle section is for daily to do's that I'd like to get done that day the brain dump section on the left side is things I want to get done during the week doesn't matter when or it's a little bit of pre-planning for the following week now I did pre-plan as much as I could for the week but that doesn't mean that this is all that I will be doing I will be doing more. I will be adding more to it. I just pre-planned as much as I could. So that's going to be my catch-all spread. I'll be honest, I love the way it turned out and I'm really glad I decided to find stickers that match the colors that were in the planner. Don't know if I'm gonna do it again next week, but I do like the way that it turned out for this week. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. If you haven't, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.